hello students welcome to video lecture of pet controller uh, this is uh, part 2 today we are going to study about the most important flux controller that is unified power flow control in short upfc so we have already discussed about a statcom and tcsc in our last video lecture it is a uh, basically a combination of statcom and triple sc so if you talk about UPFC here, uh, it is a more versatile and flexible operating area. Okay. So why we are saying like that? Because UPFC is able to control all the parameters uh, that will affect the power flow in our power system network, like uh, voltage, phase angle, impedance. Okay. So due to this unique capability, we call this unified. So before starting the detailed study about UPFC, first we will take a look on features of UPFC and the brief introduction about triple SC. Okay, let's get started. Here I listed out uh, some basic features about UPFC. Okay, so it is a combination of series and set controller as you can see here. Okay, and I said earlier uh, it will control the, all the transmission parameters like voltage, impedance, and phase angle. This is nothing uh, new in that. Okay, so next we will move on triple SC. Here we can see the schematic diagram of a uh, static series synchronous compensator. Okay, it is nothing but the series connected compensator device. Okay. The static synchronous series compensator operated without an external electric energy source. As a series compensator, where output voltage is in quadrature with and controlled independently of the line current for the purpose of increasing or decreasing overall electric voltage drop across the line and thereby controlling the transmitted electrical power. So, the triple SC may include transiently energy observing device to enhance the dynamic behavior of the power system by additional temporary real power com compensation to increase or decrease the overall real voltage drop across the line okay so this is the basic idea about uh, static synchronous uh, static series uh, synchronous compensator okay here i have written the working principle of uh, triple sc in brief you can go through it okay now let's move to the, our uh, main topic UPFC. Okay. Here we can see that the schematic diagram of series phase UPFC connected to transmission line, and we'll discuss about the working principle also here. Okay. So as in the figure, UPFC consists of two voltage source converter. Okay, are operated from a DC link provided by the DC storage capacitor. This arrangement operates an ideal AC to AC converter in which the active power can freely flow either in the direction between the AC terminals of the two converter and here each converter can independently generate or absorb the reactive power through its own output terminals. Okay. So one voltage source converter is connected to the sun to the transmission line we can see here okay through the sent transformer okay and the other one is connected through the series okay series with the transmission line here we can see that okay so the dc terminal of two voltage source converter is coupled and this provides a path for active power exchange between the converters so voltage source converter provides the main function of the UPFC by injecting a voltage with controllable magnitude and phase angle in a series with the line through the injection transformer. Okay, so this injected voltage acts as a synchronous AC voltage source. The, the transmission line current flow through this voltage source, resulting in reactive and active power exchange between it and the AC system. Okay. So, the reactive power exchange at the DC terminal is generated internally by the converter. So, the real power exchange at the AC terminal is converted into DC power that appears at the DC link as the real power demand 
and converter 1 is supply or absorb the real power demanded by the converter 2 at the common DC link to support the real power exchange resulting from the series voltage injection. This DC link power demand of the voltage source converter 2 is converted back to the AC by converter 1 and coupled to the transmission line bus through the sun connected transformer. So we can analyze that voltage source converter 1 can also generate and absorb controllable, controllable reactive power if it is required and hence it provides independent sun compensation for the line. Thus voltage source converter 1 can be operated at the unity power factor or to be controlled to have a reactive power exchange with the line independent of the reactive power exchanged by converter 1. Obviously, uh, there can be no reactive power flow through the UPFC DC link. If we talk about phasor diagram, here we can see that V is supply voltage, VPQ is uh, composited voltage. Both uh, the voltage will together serve the load. Okay, series converter which inject the voltage in a series with uh, our transmission line. So the existing voltage will be increased. So we can have the control of VPQ which will be varying from 0 to VPQ max and the phase angle 0 to 360 degree. This is possible in this case alone. Okay, so your output voltage will be varying. Okay, so this was all about the working principle of UPFC. So now we will discuss about uh, advantage of the UPFC. So here here I listed out some advantage of UPFC you can go through it okay so this was all about uh, UPFC we saw a working principle and a schematic diagram of this uh, UPFC this is most important uh, fact controller as far as your syllabus is concerned and power system is concerned okay so thank you